minutes to the ranking member. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Now, some may uh, have a uh, revisionist uh, uh, history, a uh, revisionist view of recent history about what went on in Honduras. Apparently, uh, some may ascribe to the uh, Benjamin Franklin uh, uh, quote that said, never let a, a gang of brutal facts uh, get in the way of a beautiful theory. What is the beautiful theory? That what happened in Honduras was a coup d'etat. Love to say that. Now, the brutal facts are that um, Manuel Celaya, the president of Honduras, put on the ballot, printed the, the ballots that were about to be voted on by the public, a question asking the public what their thoughts are on extending the presidential term. Problem is that according to the Honduran Constitution, putting that ballot question is in and of itself a violation of the Constitution. So the Supreme Court of Honduras ruled against Manuel Celaya committing this illegal act. Then the Human Rights Ombudsman of Honduras ruled against Manuel Celaya. Then the Congress of Honduras, both parties, opposition and Celaya's party, ruled also, voted on, yes, you have violated the Constitution. Uh, the civil society organizations agreed that the actions taken by Celaya were in violation of the Constitution. The United States is involved in doing all the wrong things there, but the Honduran people, the Honduran institutions, were all in agreement. The Supreme Court decided it, the Congress decided it, the civil organizations all signed documents saying that this is wrong, and so he was arrested pursuant to a legal warrant that he was, should not have been taken out of the country. I agree, and all the parties have said that was wrong to do. He should have been judged, he should have been tried, and he would have been found guilty because the law was clear. You violated the Constitution. So Celaya was trying to extend his term illegally in, uh, by pushing an unlawful referendum to change the Honduran Constitution, which clearly limits to one term uh, the time of office of the president. Those are the facts. And so after all of these decisions, Celaya was removed from power according to the Constitution, according to the Congress, according to the rule of law. Now, we've got a very active U.S. ambassador there in Honduras who is going to try to do everything within his power to continue the failed policy of this administration to say that what happened there was an illegal act. Never mind what the Supreme Court said. Never mind what the Honduran Congress said. Never mind that the Honduran people celebrated a free, fair, transparent, non-corrupt election that was hailed by all parties as an example of a terrific election process in Honduras. All applauded. Lobo was sworn in as president, and the United States administration, the Obama administration, the Secretary of State, and our activist uh, U.S. ambassador in Honduras continues to try to pressure all of the parties, because he's obsessed with this, to try to call it a coup d'etat and continue on with this last uh, uh, problem. The Honduran people have moved on. The Supreme Court has ruled on. The, the Honduran Congress has moved on. Some have not moved on, and they want to call this a coup d'etat. So they want to continue, 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 even though we have a democratic new government all applauded by all the international groups saying this was a clear and fair election. Let's not change the facts just to get to this beautiful theory. It was not a coup d'etat, and the Honduran people have moved on. They would like the recognition by the international community. Slowly, we're restoring the visas that we should have never taken away from them in the first place. We are still punishing those who were with the new, the new interim, the interim government, Machaletti, those people are still being punished. We withdrew U.S. aid that went against our own interests, including U.S. anti-narcotics efforts. We held that country as a prisoner, as prisoners. They could not escape. They had no visas. And so some of us are, aren't, being, aren't being fooled. If, uh, by contrast, our ambassador in uh, Nicaragua rightfully highlights uh, Ortega's efforts to, to uh, trump on the judiciary and constitution, 
let's look at what Hugo Chavez is doing. Let's look at what Daniel Ortega is doing. Get over Honduras. The Honduran people are very happy with their duly elected democratic government. This was not a coup d'etat.